Hi teachers, my name is Darshana Kamath and I am from S.B. Patil Public School, Pune. This video is about teaching the renal system in human and about my experience on activity-based teaching. I have demonstrated and conducted few activities on the structure and function of renal system. I would love to share with you that teaching with hands-on activity method is the best and effective way of teaching this complex topic. Using this lesson, students would learn about the role of kidney as a filtering system, function of nephron and the products of excretory system. I started my class with an introductory activity to make sure that all students are intrigued and developed interest in the topic. I wrote the word waste on the blackboard and asked my students to discuss what the word means. They started their discussion in pairs and while they were discussing, I was just giving them some hints to think about what type of waste they can see around or what type of waste a human body produces. I listed their thoughts accordingly on the blackboard and when a student mentioned urine as a human waste, I circled that word. I asked them how urine is formed inside the body. Like me, you can also show some very interesting videos to students to develop interest in the topic. One such video link is given in the description box. I do such introductory activities so that it kickstarts the lesson and in this case, it's the renal system. Coming to the structure of kidney and semi-permeable nature of nephron, I started the main part of lesson by planning and conducting three main activities. The first activity is to make a kidney model, which students can do in groups. For this, we need two plastic bottles, 10 inch long plastic tube, filter coffee powder, funnel, filter or tissue papers and container. We have these two plastic bottles, cut them into two. Attach this plastic tube to the bottle with clay functioning as a glue. See this. Now, this has to be waterproof and look here. Tubes are open from inside. Place filter papers inside this kidney that is bottle. You can also use tissue papers. Keep the coffee solution ready. You can explain each part as the students perform these activities in group. For example, bottles function as to two kidneys and tubes as the ureters. So, now tape these tubes and fix a funnel here. Pour coffee solution into these kidneys. Let students observe and note down points whether they can see any color change of coffee powder. The best thing about this is that students generally have questions like what gets filtered. And here you can answer their queries so that they get a clear idea what is retained in kidney and what is filtered out. All these activities are designed such that they help develop thinking abilities in students and focus on inquiry process in classroom. After this activity, students generally get curious about the functioning of renal system. So, our next activity is the structure and function of nephron. Students can perform this activity in groups based on the time and resources available with you. For this, we need potato starch solution, iodine or potassium iodide solution, a syringe, a filter or a piece of cloth. This activity is to help students to understand the process of blood filtration in kidneys. Step by step, I guided them on performing this activity and at the same time, I was asking few questions on what they are observing. 
For this, take approximately 7 ml of this solution in a syringe. Now, to this syringe, attach a filter at its mouth or a piece of cloth can also act as a filter. Hold the syringe like this, mouth pointing downward and asked a question. Is the solution coming out of the syringe? The reason to probe them is to make them realize that they need to apply pressure by pushing the syringe piston for the liquid to come out. Then collect the liquid in a beaker with iodine solution which turns blue when in contact with starch solution. Relate this with kidney function and ask students, is there a physiological force inside the kidney that could help filter blood? And if so, what force makes this possible? Guide them to understand that glomeruli are the filtering units. Let them observe the color of the solution in beaker and the syringe and ask them, could there be a difference in the component of the two? Help them to understand what is being filtered. This activity is a good way of engaging students in a discussion. They can connect the parts of syringe experiments with that of kidney function. That is, syringe pressure with blood pressure in the glomerulus, blue color solution with water, urea, etc. After this activity, now we can focus on the nature and function of nephron. For this activity, we need corn or potato starch, iodine solution, filter or tissue papers or food wrap. I first demonstrated the activity and then told students to perform it. Slowly place this filter paper into the iodine solution, be sure that its mouth is closed and kept above the solution. Let students observe the solution in the bag for 15 to 20 minutes. Ask them what they are observing and what could be the phenomena behind this. You can connect this concept with that of semi-permeable nature of nephron. This activity will help them to visualize how nephron can permit waste product to pass but retain the vital components of blood. There is one more computer-based simulation activity which you can first show in your class and then ask students to perform it at home. In next class, you can discuss about it. It uses the city STEM platform which is very useful for inculcating scientific inquiry process using online computational tools. If you are comfortable using such tools, I recommend you to use this and other activities available on City STEM for your regular teaching. You can click this link and give it a try. While doing all these activities, you can assess your students' understanding by involving them in discussions and asking them probing questions. My whole class enjoy all these activities and the questions which I ask during activities. You can get all details of this lesson by checking the text lesson plan given in the description box. Also, there are more activities available on different body system. Have a look at them. Do give it a try and let us know your comments. You can get details of how to contact us in the description box. Till then, engage your students in this fun and inquiry-based learning. Thanks for watching.